Just got back from Lowe's, did a nice uh, $150 haul, which is about average now. So we got a few really cool things. We got our heat gun, so that'll be in some future videos using that. We got connectors, some wire cutters, which you would think we already had based off all the electrical videos we've done. Um, what else did we get? I have no idea. <laughs> My brain is fried. <laughs> um, so yeah, see us put it to good use. Life is gonna happen one way or the other Whether you like it or not Stop looking for the answers And you'll find What you've got Today's project is going to be reconfiguring the red and amber warning lights. So those are like the stop and warning lights that flash on a school bus. We're gonna repurpose those. Let's take a look down here. This is an eight-way light module that sole purpose is to control the flashing and the alternating of the lights. So there's amber lights and red lights, both in the US. So what we're going to do is repurpose those so that we can, uh, we're gonna put clear covers on all four lights on the back so that we can flip them on and see what's behind us. Maybe when we're backing up into a parking space, into a campsite, uh, or we just need light in the back. We may do the same in the front or we may install a light bar uh, it's going to be dependent on how bright the lights are and we need to wait till it's dark out to do that so that's today's project follow along so laura's making a little jumper here so she stripped this wire putting a little connection on it crimp her down so now where exactly no. don't catch your fingers okay now try and pull it off oh so there was a lesson what not to do but, but that's the point, right? Hmm. Like that? Yeah. I don't think I can go anymore. I don't think I'll click anymore. One more. Got maybe, one more out of it. Maybe Cody can put the... Oh, so it doesn't release until you go all the way. That's right. That's how you know. Oh, okay. By golly, no. Yeah, buddy. Twisting twist it. much. There you go. All right, jumper complete. All right, so we've got the jumper connected here. Uh, this is labeled right red, but we're gonna find out if it's the front or the rear. And so we're gonna connect this here. That's a right front. Okay, next up, left red. Here we go, left red. Left red! Got a winner in the front. Left red, bingo! Okay, so it's doing both of them. Great. That makes it that easy. eliminates a step, right? It, well, it does in one way, but now we got to figure out where they're connected. Okay. So where the two are joined. So that's yep. good. Okay. Okay, that's a right amber. Right amber. What do we got up there? Anything? Left amber. Got nothing here. Nothing on the back. Nope. Yeah, that might be hard. So there was no amber back there. Why would that be? Well, it could be a few reasons. One is the wire could be cut or split somewhere. It's unlikely. The most common is that the bulb is probably burned out. Also possible is the way the light is, uh, it grounds using a screw through a metal plate and touching the metal bus, which is grounded. So if that's a bad ground, that could be another reason. The bulb is most likely, but we could check on those. Okay, we're up here taking a look to see why this isn't lighting up. The most common problem would be the bulb being burned out. We also mentioned it being a bad ground. So the ground uh, is this metal strip uh, to the bus. And so it could be either here or in here, but let's take the bulb off. And it is a busted filament. Okay, you can see the filaments busted in there. You can see it moving around. So each of these bulbs is a 55 watt bulb. So times four, that'll be a lot of light back here. So we need to find out what light it is, what bulb it is. And it looks like it is an H3. So we're gonna order some extras of these. Cue the internet. I said, tell me your story.
Time for some Jimmy John's. We just ordered some lunch. He took out an open. And wrote something for me. I got it. <laughs> if this closes when I'm up here. Oh boy, that would be bad. There will be trouble. So you have twin separate air conditioning systems, twin air compressors, AC compressors, one for the front, one for the rear. That's nice. Feature of a bus. I was very offended the other day when you said Thomas was your favorite kind of bus. Yes, that's what I worked on most often. Thomas. They're a nice bus. Very high quality. But Uber's a good bus too. So they're which ones are these? This stuff? Those two down there, that one big one up top. Then he kept walking on down the road. And I watched him disappear like smoke. And I thought I'd just seen a ghost. And I looked down at what he wrote. There is a wire that connects through to this mirror. It's okay. actually to heat the mirrors to keep them from frosting over. Probably didn't get used a whole lot being from Phoenix. I said, son, when you grow up, you'll be fine. I know you've got questions on your mind. Just like that, Tots is a little more aerodynamic. Ooh. Baby. Life is gonna happen one way or the other Whether you like it or not Stop looking for the answers And you'll find What you've got Feels like that's the only spot where it's being held <laughs> Yeah, it's just the way we do it. That's all it is. Now, pull that cord. Is that yep. this one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I didn't think that was good. I thought that was the problem. No. Instead of unrolling it, I'll let you pull four feet instead of. Yeah, it's going to make it through all that, you think? Because it won't be able to get it once it's back there, right? Perfect. Yeah. Just want to make sure. Well, you know, if we have to open it, we can, and then we'll see it. Yeah. So our wires are all painted, which makes it a little bit tricky to follow them because they all look the same. So Cody's just going to cut these and hopefully follow. See where they at? See where the access is. Yeah, this is what I wanted to do was get enough slack. Was, I was laying there in bed last night going, there's something. We found the connection for the school bus lights that we've been looking for. It's a black taped up piece. So this is where the two come to the one. To become one. To become one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we knew when we found there's only one wire down there that feeds the front and the back. This is where they connect. Yep. So if we cut these here, these are the front. Yep. We'll leave these here, and then those will be the rear that go all the way down here and connect yep. so we don't have to mess with them. We know where they're fed. We know how it goes. Got it. So remove the fronts from here yeah. and run those separately. Yeah. Rolling. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay, so this was a plug for some warning lights. Uh, when the warning lights are on, it showed up here, so you knew they were on. Uh, we don't need them anymore, so we cut them, taped them off here, and they can tuck back here nicely. The reason we can't get rid of them all together is because they're in a Y harness back here, or a T, and uh, you can't pull them through. So the other end we cut off here, tuck those back, and then if you look to your left over here, we cut them off here. So what we did was we eliminated five wires out of this, out of this harness here and looking to eliminate some more. So in connecting the warning lights together uh, with the clear covers, uh, we've got these four wires, which go to the four warning lights in the front, two amber, two red, one on each side. 
they were connected here and uh, we have, which go also to the back and we have disconnected them and we're gonna run them down up here. Fuzz on the end of that. Which is the sticky part, let's put that in. Like so. Okay, taper on that real good while I'm holding it. So taping all four of these wires to the fish tape. And making sure put, you have a nice taper one, on the end. Put a wrap around this because we're going this way with it, right? Oh, so we don't oh, want that I, to didn't, I couldn't even see that from my side. Yeah, Apologies. It was underneath it. Okay. Just don't want it to get hung up. Yeah, no doubt. Thought I was past that. But. Okay. All right. See if you're lucky. All right. Go ahead, Laura. Oh, right in the shin. So Laura's putting the wires into a loom so that we can tuck it down through the hole. Actually, she already tucked it down through the hole. Now we're just putting a loom on so they're protected. Oh, here, you can use one. Since I always think it's on. So uh, I understand this shouldn't be done. I just want to hear you explain why. Why is it that you wouldn't wrap all those together and then just wrap it in electrical tape? So because of the amount of current going to go through these wires yeah it'll be warm it'll be exceptionally warm and when you okay. think about what we're doing yeah we're going to run 220 all of these lights where yeah. we're comfortable is that we've got the current going to each light on a separate wire so we're we're fine the only reason we're doing this is to minimize the connection yep at the terminal yep of the relay okay so this is really now joined all four wires together so we'll just bury this guy in here So we're gonna solder this and shrink tube this. Thanks, sorry. <laughs> okay, so what do we know about this? Do we have power down here? These are the two grounds, right? Yep. So headed to the bus this morning. Uh, actually, it's about 11. Um, Laura and her dad are at the bus and uh, getting started with some of the work on the warning lights. And uh, I'm gonna catch up here. So. As unfortunate as coronavirus has been, that I had a lot of time to be at the bus and get stuff done in the bus. We got a number of projects knocked out this spring that I didn't expect to have done yet. The downside is right now I'm really busy and it's hard to, uh, it's hard to be here every day or uh, often enough to get projects done each week and, and whatnot. So anyway, thanks for following along and uh, let's continue with this project. Hey, what's going on over here? Hey, we're getting some electrical hooked up. Yeah, I heard, uh, heard we're open. knocking out we some lights. switch that turns on all four front bus lights at once, which doesn't happen on its own. Lots of hard work, thanks to Dad. So I've... Here's the relay, wired up. Nice. I got it mounted up in here. Okay. Going to mount the second one right here. Okay. Uh, so I'm just trying to sort out. I need to connect a switch wire. Sure. To this, and I think what I'm going to use is this guy here, the rear strobe. Okay. You don't have that. That's, That's right. Looks like a light. That's at the back. So. Yep. You can use this one. 
So I'm just checking to see which ones, which way we need to have the power, so on and so forth. Cool. All right, to bring you up to speed, uh, you'll remember that we had four wires, but they were black and yellow of sorts. And they were these four warning lights in the back, the left red, left amber, right red, right amber. They run up the side here along this wiring harness. So what we're doing is connecting those four wires into one single wire that can run to the relay. We'll connect to the switch. Here we've got the four wires. That's not those. Uh, let's show the other ones. So those four wires are coming right up here. Yeah, that's right, I forgot. So there we've got the four wires soldered into one wire into the relay. Okay, so we're gonna test out the front lights. Turn the key on. Here we go, look, there they are. Laura's getting set up in the back, so you can't see her. When you grow we have light. you'll be fine. I know you've got questions on your mind. the answer. 